Welcome to the Math Analysis Back to School Night for 2020. My name is Scott Fraser, and here's my contact information. Now, you don't need to write this information down because it's available in either Aries or Google Classroom. Before we get started, I'd like to just tell you a little bit about myself. I have been teaching now for 19 years, and I've done math analysis with the same curriculum here for three years. Prior to teaching math analysis, I taught Math 1, Math 2, Math 3, and Math 3 Honors. So I'm very familiar with what the students should know prior to making it to math analysis. So what is math analysis? Let's take a look. Math analysis is the class that prepares students for calculus. If they are a senior, then they're probably going to be prepared for college calculus. Or if they're a junior, they're ready for either um, AB or BC calculus, depending on how well they do. Now, I'm going to post all of our assignments in Google Classroom. They will be posted by Monday morning, although typically it's posted up sometime Sunday afternoon. And the assignments are due Friday night at midnight for the week that we're on. So if your son or daughter was to look at their Google Classroom and show it to you, this is what you would see. Under the Classwork tab, when they click on that, down below it'll show the assignments for the week. So the assignments for the week of 831 this week are posted down below. These are those three assignments. Now above that, I'll always have our Zoom links, and these are for the students only. However, down below the Zoom links is a link for our syllabus. Now the students have already read the syllabus and taken a quiz on it, but if you would like to see the syllabus, ask them to show it to you uh, under the Classwork tab of their Google Classroom. And then you can also see what some of the other important information that we won't have time to discuss in this video. So let's see what our classroom is going to look like. So the textbook we're using is Pre-Calculus with Limits. And again, I've used this book for now for three years. During the live sessions, I'm going to run it much like I would during a normal classroom. I'll use the time to take notes, do practice problems, and go over other problems that the students are having with the homework, much like I would during a normal year. Now, I know that some students have issues with the technology, and it, whether it be the Wi-Fi crashing or the computer's not working that day. So what I'm doing is posting all of the notes that we do in class um, up onto Google Classroom under the Classwork tab after the day's over. So if you were to look, we ha I have three sessions each week. So this is what it looked like for last week. There's the notes for both uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So that if a student has issues, they can always go back and look at those. Now, some of the videos that I'm going to be using this year are going to be up for a flipped classroom. That there's some discussions that we need to have that are going to take more time, and I don't want to use the time for that to do the notes. So instead, I am going to have a time where I'm going to have students look at videos first that I've made and take notes from the videos, so that way when we come into our live sessions, we can actually have the more in-depth discussions. Now, we haven't had one of these yet, but it is going to be coming when we get into the new material. So just so you're aware that they may be asked to watch the videos that I'm making um, and then take notes on those prior to our actual classwork. Now, if they've ever looked at the EC Wildcat Math website, it's going to be the same format. I'm the one that makes all the videos for that, so I'm planning to do some of our notes for the class in the same formatting. Now, as far as grading goes, the assessments and quizzes are going to count for 70% of our grades in this class. The homework and the classwork from the live sessions will be the other 30%. Now, if you want to see how they're doing, you have two things you can do. You can check areas to see the grade. I'll post those once a week. In addition, you can also check Google Classroom to see if your son or daughter is keeping up with the work. If you were to look at Google Classroom, it should be able to tell you whether they've turned in the assignments for the week. So you can actually monitor how they're doing as the week goes along and just make sure they're not posting everything up at the last second. As far as additional support goes, there's several things that we can do here. As I mentioned before, there's the ecwildcatmath.weebly.com website. Right now, it's set up for Math 1, Math 2, and Math 3, and that's actually going to be helpful for students in math analysis because there's going to be a lot of topics that we're going to do that were started at the other levels of math. So if they would like to watch one of those videos if they're feeling weak about a topic prior to us starting it, that would be good to get them in a better footing so that when we go into the new material, it'll make more sense. In addition, there's office hours. This is time to get help, and I have these on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday from 125 to 145. Now that's pretty short, so what we can also do is have the students stay on the live lessons after the other students are dismissed from homework time, and they can get more one-on-one -on -one help then. So that's another option. Now many people are wondering what the return to person is going to look like, and to be honest, so am I. We haven't been told yet. 
So I do know that we're going to be using the same book when we return, and that'll help make the transition a lot smoother. Well, thank you for watching this, and again, here's my contact information, which is available in either Aries or Google Classroom. If you have any questions, feel free to email me, and I'll try to get back to you right away. Thank you for watching this.